Welcome to the Business Miracles Podcast. I'm Heather Dominic, founder of businessmiracles.com. Since 2010, I've been training highly sensitive entrepreneurs and leaders from around the globe to work less while making more impact and income by doing things differently. I'm so glad you've joined me. Listen in and get ready for a shift in the way you view yourself, your work, your life. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles podcast, episode 142. Create what you want, part two. Get clear on what you need. In part two of this three part episode series, I'll help you get clear on your current dire need income goal and the actions you're meant to take to meet that need in a way that's motivating rather than overwhelming all so that you're always hitting the income goals that truly make the most sense for you and doing it all with less effort and more ease. And let's talk dire need for a moment, shall we? So first of all, I've been teaching dire need for almost 20 years now. And every time I teach dire need, there's always someone in the community. Oh, I don't like the way that sounds. Dire need. Oh, it's so, so harsh. It's so intense. So let me share a little bit about where dire need came from. When I started my business, I had nothing. Not only did I have nothing, meaning like, I had literally saved the bare amount of income that was going to sustain me for six months. And that was it. Like with like basically like living on hot dogs and not buying anything for myself. It was down to that, that minimal of an amount, no movies, no extra clothes, no eating out, no organic vegetables. Literally, that was all I had. I had no credit cards because I was in the midst of I had just declared personal bankruptcy. So for myself, it was dire. I had to get really clear for myself. What do I need to generate for income in order to move this business forward for the next 30 days? Now, when I hear from an HSE being resistant to the phrase of dire need, that says to me avoidance, that you're avoiding at actually looking at what you need. Now, your situation might not be as crucial as it was for myself, and that's fine. It doesn't need to be. And a dire need will shift and change as you shift and change and as your business and or your leadership focus shifts and change. But you need to know what is the bare bones for me? What is the bare minimum? So the dire need is important because it brings into that space of practice focusing bringing you to that practice crystallizing to be so clear for yourself. What do you need step-by-step to move the business, move the leadership focus forward over just the next 30 days? Not for the next six months, not for the next six years, 30 days to literally bring it down into the microcosm. This is where going back to why highly sensitives don't create what they want, is getting all caught up in perfectionism, analysis paralysis, overprotection. I need to know what the grand plan is. This has to be the business that I'm going to live out the rest of my days versus 30 days, bare minimum. What are the next steps? And then to know that you'll be able to refocus For the next 30 days, what also gets in the way is back to that limiting belief. Not enough. Can a 30-day dire need focus be enough? 
Also part of dire need is to recognize that there's then three levels of income generation, dire or survive, thrive, and visionary, which gives you and your psyche and your nervous system permission that it's not always going to be dire, but we're going to focus on dire first so we can then grow to survive, thrive, and then grow to visionary. You have to crawl before you walk. And that happens in various phases of upward spiral evolution. Your dire need is gonna be different from when you're starting a business to when you're building a business to when you're transitioning into a different level of business. And that applies for leadership for those who aren't entrepreneurs as well. You can easily calculate that number. It's different for each and every one of us, but it's important to connect into. And if you find yourself spinning out or going into overwhelm, bring yourself back, back online. OFTU, essential self, and dire need. Breath in and let it out. Correct, neutral, now. From that space of bringing your nervous system back online, you can create anything you want. Anything. There is not one member in this community who can't have what they want. The only thing that will keep that from you is not knowing what you want. Because of shadows, because of social self, because of limiting beliefs. You have an entire community, an entire coach team, and an entire mentor who have all invested in working from a higher plane of possibility. Ride that wave. Get clear and create yourself to be clear about what you want and to take the steps to then create it. Thank you for being a part of this Business Miracles podcast episode and for beginning to dip your toe into the journey of highly sensitive leadership training. If you are ready to truly use your sensitivities as strengths in all parts of your work and life, I invite you to connect for a one-on-one -on -one chat. You will experience being deeply listened to and together we'll get a sense of whether the highly sensitive leadership training programs are the best next step for you and your highly sensitive journey at this time. Just go to www.claritycall.com to schedule a conversation. We so look forward to connecting with you. Talk to you soon.